Lovely guacamole, everyone. Today on The Domestic Geek, I'm sharing three tasty twists on this classic dip. In my house, guacamole is an absolute staple. It's one of my very favorite foods. So I've created three tasty variations on the classic guacamole that I think you're gonna love, including a grilled corn chipotle guacamole, a tangy Thai guacamole, and a tropical fruit guacamole. Prepare to have your taste buds singing. This grilled corn chipotle guacamole is the perfect combination of smoky, sweet, and spicy. So we are starting with three ripe avocados. We're going to give them a dice and get them into this bowl. To that, we're gonna add the juice of one lime and then one minced clove of garlic, half of a small red onion, one small tomato, a little bit of jalapeno pepper. You can leave this out because we are gonna be adding chipotle, but I think they bring two individual unique flavors to this dish. To that, we are going to add our beautiful grilled corn. Now, if you've never grilled corn yourself, you need to check out my girl Diva Q's channel. Diva Q is an international barbecue champion, so let me tell you, this girl knows a thing or two about the grill. I've shared a link in the description below so you can check it out for yourself. Now, we are going to be using chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. Now, I love these because they are spicy, but also really smoky and delicious. We're going to be using one chipotle pepper because they do pack quite a lot of heat. You can see the seeds are still intact. But if you really love heat, by all means, add two or three. It really all depends on your taste. So for seasonings, we're going to use some ground cumin, a little bit of cayenne pepper, some salt, and then some fresh chopped cilantro. If you're not into cilantro, just omit it. It is no big deal. But of course, cilantro really brings out a huge freshness in this guacamole. Give that a good mix, and boom, that is ready to serve. All the taste of summer in one delicious dip. This tangy Thai guacamole features classic Thai flavors that you will absolutely love. So we're going to be using some garlic and some ginger and of course, Thai chili peppers in place of the typical jalapeno. Now we are using three ripe avocados for this recipe. The riper, the better. They just mash more easily. So to our avocados, we're gonna add the juice of one lime. This is gonna help prevent them from browning. To that, we're going to add some green onion, which is a classic Thai flavor. Also some grated ginger, one clove of minced garlic, and then some minced Thai chili. Now a word of warning, when you are dealing with red Thai chilies, you wanna make sure you are using gloves because they are very, very spicy and can leave your skin burning for a long time. So when you're cutting into this bad boy, be sure you are wearing gloves. And remember, the heat is mostly in the membranes and in the seeds. So if you remove those, you remove a lot of the heat. And then we're going to add a tablespoon of sweet Thai chili sauce. Now you can buy this at your local grocery store, that's easy, or you can make it yourself. And I've included a recipe in the description below for how to do that at home, if you feel adventurous. To that, we're just gonna add some fresh cilantro and a little bit of salt, and bada bing, bada boom, you have a beautiful tangy Thai guacamole that's unlike any guacamole I think you've probably ever tasted. Absolutely love this tropical fruit guacamole because it almost eats like a dessert. So it features beautiful tropical fruit like mango and pineapple, a little bit of fresh mint and some shredded coconut. It almost feels like a pina colada in a dip. All right, so we are starting with three ripe avocados and we're gonna mash that up with the juice of a one lime. To that, we're gonna add half a minced jalapeno for some heat and half a small red onion for a sweet, sweet bite. Then we're using fresh pineapple. Now you definitely, you could buy the canned stuff or the pre-cored stuff, but hey, if it's in season, cut your pineapple yourself. You're gonna feel a sweet sense of satisfaction. Now you don't need a ton, we're using maybe about half a cup here. And then we're also going to add some fresh mango. To that, we're gonna hit it with about a tablespoon of shredded sweetened coconut and a couple mint leaves for a little bit of freshness. Mix this all together and oh my God, it's sweet and heat and beautiful and literally tastes like a pina colada in a dip. I hope you will give all of these recipes a try. When you do, be sure to tweet or Instagram me a photo. I'd love to see what you're up to in your kitchen. And of course, be sure to subscribe to The Domestic Geek for lots more delicious dishes and tasty treats.